Shia Shia calls. Get a sandwich. Yeah, that'll work tomorrow, so I'll probably Or get die. Welcome back. So, there's some more clicking and whirring kind of noises. Uh, there's a flash. Uh, their, their eyes kind of flash. I'll change my mind and, and get the crossbow. There is a uh, uh, some more unsettling, like, whirring and stuff. You guys are real tense, you know. And, uh, access granted. Hey. Thank you! All right, then. And they turn. What? How did that just happen? And, I don't know. Uh, pull the huge doors open. You could have done that. And it would have been hard for even him to do that. Very big, heavy doors. And you are allowed entrance into the city of Brass. Is that a barbarian ability? Yeah. yeah. Like level 18 barbarians can call their strength as uh, whatever. Why does Grog space. never do that? Because he probably doesn't realize he has it. Someone needs to tweet this to him. I don't know if he's that level yet. I think he's 18. What path is he? Is he Berserker. He, yeah. He's a frenzy barbarian. Like he's, well, that's fair. Huh? Whatever. I tweeted Lord today to tell her to get her passport. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really? That's great. Um, she probably got a bunch of those. I like the bandwagon a little bit. The City of Brass is a very eclectic group of, of Is people. it made of brass? A lot of it is. I was going to um, say, if it's not, it's a misnomer. <laughs> a lot of the buildings, if not made of brass itself, is uh, embossed in it to yeah, appear is very brass, very brassy. <laughs> That's not very like, strong metal. Huh? That's why it's just like filigree type stuff. We used to make weapons out of brass. It's like plated. Yeah. But then You're they thinking started using iron. <laughs> uh, well, ancient Greece and Rome made what brass weapons. That's well, all they used. They weren't particularly strong. Yeah, then uh, that's why they switched to iron. <laughs> well, yeah, of course. It was bronze. Bronze, bronze that's bronze. right. Yeah, bronze. Mixture of various things. Bronze is uh, copper and tin. Mm. Yep. I know this because of the send online. <laughs> wow. You guys. Right. Right. The more you know. <laughs> Actually, I had the there question are in class one time. a <laughs> plethora <laughs> of creatures <laughs> that you have fought on many occasions. Uh, there are. Hey, Jenny! There are <laughs> fire, <laughs> fire elemental guards kind of hanging out in places. Uh, making it even warmer in those areas. Uh, you see several fi fire giants walking around. Genasi. Uh, there are some fire genasi. There are a few non-fire based individuals. Um, as in you do see a few humans. Uh, they're not in a good way, <laughs> as in kind of in the slave kind of format. Maybe there we should put collars on your necks. There are tieflings <laughs> who hang out and are walking down the streets and things. See a few Ifriti. Stay far, far away. There are a very small handful of demons but it's not something it's it's like in, in, a, in a massive crowd there might be you know two or three demons uh, certainly, I can make a joke here certainly nothing of the power of like the Baylor or anything like that pit fiend or like that there's, I had to say it. It's pretty scary in here. There's a lot of stuff that is... On on the material plane, you usually find to be very hostile to you. But we're in their house. It. 
but you're in their house and they're you know you have shopkeepers tiefling shopkeepers and free shopkeepers uh, they sell uh, to some individuals these very thick cups of a red glowing fluid does it look like potion of you, fire resistance? You, you suspect might actually be lava. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll go try a cup of that. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's too high on the Scoville units. <laughs> it's, not, it's not good. It's not good for your innards. It burns going well, down. So are any of them <laughs> selling Ruff's monster ichor? Give me an investigation check. We want to get a, a, a just set of flails made of it. Now Maybe one it. one flail of of a rust monster acre, one flail of oil impact. <laughs> get it right. <laughs> That's right. Is this Catterly? No. No, it's uh, Athergate. It's Athergate. Ah, it's broken as frick if used uh, used correctly. Uh, that's a twenty total. Twenty total. Okay. You find and. Ifriti individual who has a sort of apothecary uh, set up and you can purchase various elements of the creatures that live on this plane there including rust monster ichor there is uh, fire beetle like saliva it functions like alchemist fire uh, any fire beetle meat You'd have to go to like a, 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 a butcher, a dining place, or a butcher. Okay. But yes, they they would likely have that. Fire beetle soup sounds good. You actually see a few uh, fire beetles used as pack creatures. Jeez, mounts <laughs> like pulling wagons and uh, that sort of thing. Very, and everything here is very very well crafted. Like there's nothing. Cheap. Shabby or shoddy or anything like that. Uh, everything here must be kept to the to very high craft work specifications uh, or the ruler of the realm is a little upset. Well, here's to hoping that they still take gold in this plane. They do. Gold is a uh, fairly universal. Okay. Uh, Making sure... Because that could be potentially awkward. It's like, alright, how much? 67 rubles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? Is that an exchange place? <laughs> Bottle caps. <laughs> <laughs> oh. R remind me uh, later. I have an interesting campaign idea. But, so. That would be too much of a diversion. Um, Visitors! You go into the shop. Yeah. Is it just you? Uh, I'll go with him. Okay. What brings you to the city of brass? We've been, we've been so, uh, summoned by, uh, by an individual who, to, who does desire a little bit of discretion, but I can tell you that they've found an item from our plane and they, we've come, come to inspect it. Oh, yeah. I. We have many items from the material. It's not the best place, to be honest. I like it here. It's a little warm, but it's not bad. It's very... You're all very sweaty. Are it's good sure for the skin. Like it it's good for the skin. <laughs> Clears out your pores. Uh-huh. And you can see that, like, he doesn't have... Like, his... His, his lower Deception. half. His... <laughs> his... His lower half is, uh... Like, cloud stuff. He doesn't have legs. By the way, I rolled a 21 on Deception. I've got a nat 20. To nice. To thinking that. <laughs> nice. Hmm. Well, good, I guess. Are you looking for something in particular? Let's see. So we saw several rust monsters as we, uh, we were coming in. and Ah, uh, yes. And I've heard that uh, there are great magical properties from their icon. If and by great you mean dissolving metal, then yes. Indeed. 
So I should specify uh, dissolving metal that can be magnetized. It has no effect on like gold and the like. Well, that's good to hear. Excellent. Yes. So, also, I'm assuming Doom Slayers. Mm -hmm. No, oh, do do players are like hot, super ridiculous artifacts. Yeah, not wouldn't even. No, like we could fight a rust monster without fear. Oh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I probably couldn't, but you could. <laughs> well, yeah, that's true. I'll cast at it until it dies. Are you looking for a rust monster, Iker? I am. So I if, just got shipment in yesterday. Well, what you looking at? It's all, almost as if it was meant to be. How much do you need? So, well, how much do, uh, do you have? <laughs> what are you planning on using it for? It's uh, mostly research purposes, but we would... Uh, it's, a, it's a difficult substance to come by uh, uh, in our plane. And we figure, while we're in the neighborhood, may as... So, m may, be, may be able to uh, turn around and resell some b uh, back in our plane. Who knows? Make a tidy profit. Who knows? We may we may be looking for a supplier if, if it is in high enough demand. <laughs> I understand that. <laughs> we, we, we could just carry some so, with us in the place. Like, yeah. shit. Well, yeah, give them a little wink whenever I say, I say we could any, potentially any, be looking for a for a supplier on this plane. We will talk. <laughs> got my finger. If you're gonna be dumb. You gotta be tough. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> up. That has been said so many times tonight. It has been so relevant. There, like, uh, Every time. Yeah. Um, he pulls out what is essentially like mason jar sized container. It's a lot. Yeah. This is one jar of several I have at the moment. Um, we'll run you... Thousand gold. Can I try to do like an insight check to see if that's like if he's just like taking advantage of us? Yes, you can. All right. Mm -hmm. I would like to do the same. Make sure. Okay. How is it even possible? Did you nat twenty? Uh -huh. I did again. It's a twenty-seven. Okay. I mean, mine was a sixteen. Gotcha. Uh, Ulfgar. Oh, actually, let me... Hang on. 27, you say? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He is... He is gouging. He's taking you for a ride. He's gouging, but it's actually Icker. It's actually the Icker, but he's price gouging. He's price gouging, you mate. Hmm, of course. But it's real, it's a real thing. Okay. No, I'm sorry, that... That is just far too high. We have we have discussed it with this with some other uh, people, and this is a similar situation. I understand that we are we are from the material plane, and this isn't. And you, you think we're because we're not from here, we don't understand. But I believe I'm going to take white, our business out elsewhere <laughs> because we're not made of fire. Is it? Not. So, so I'm going to. I'm going to be uh, just, a persuasion roll mm. with advantage because you sold it. Because we're squishy meat sacks. Because you caught him on his bullshit. Well, uh, let's see. God. Your persuasion is it's shit. A, it's a it's a tired. Yeah. Wow. Ha! That was a nineteen. That's a, a nineteen. 19. <laughs> nineteen total. He doesn't have a. I have persuasion. a zero. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> it kills me not being able to. To persuade or to set uh, to see yeah, like, right, right. like that's probably my biggest complaint with this character is I feel like that I just I can't do any talking at all. I can't do shit, but you know, hit things. Well, but I, I can hurt stuff real good. I, see. I can intimidate. I see you are wiser than I expected. Okay, six hundred gold and it's yours. Six platinum, if you prefer. Six hundred, you say? Yes. Twenty-three inside to see if he's still gouging. Not. It, it's a little higher, but it's not terribly so. It's, Inflation. It's a, re it's a reasonable. Okay. Yeah. 
What if I say I buy three jars for 15? Save 100 gold on each. You Unless I'm matching on You have borrowed gypsies? 15.5, and, uh, and, and you're our exclusive Icar supplier in, in the material of brass. So or what the plane of brass is a material. I hold up the axe of the High King. I can attest to that. I don't think your kingship matters to you. you. I can set up trade agreements with other planes if I want to, Imsh. How much of okay. this material will you need on a regular basis? So it truly it it, it does depend. Uh, so we'll have to be uh, expand our contact again once we get back to our plane. We need to feel out the market. We need to see if there's going to be a demand for it. If it takes off, we could be in great business together. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's bullshit. <laughs> I like it. Uh. Like, it kills me. It kills me that, I, that I'm not a persuasive character. <laughs> okay. I will know if it goes awry. <laughs> so I'll just keep. He moves two more jars up from under his counter space. And. How much should I expect that this would be able to, to destroy per jar? Ah, excellent question. <laughs> Do you have a weapon powerful enough to maintain it without dissolving? I do. I would say that you could get a total of Perhaps uh, ten strikes per jaw. Per jaw. Okay. Maybe, depending upon how you use it, otherwise a little less than that. Okay. My good man, you've been most helpful. I am no man. Merely an expression from my realm. He could Do lose your sight of his existence. Please shut up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> has the ability to cast wishes. What does he need gold for? <laughs> <laughs> what does he need anything for, really? Wishes ain't free. He can't. He can't wish his own wish. Wow. <laughs> Didn't think that one through. <laughs> he's a fucking afraid he's shot. Like, oh my all right, gosh. say he's getting a afraid friend. Then they can just cast each other's wishes. I mean, you can if he can Not cast sure wish. Not that's quite how that works. If he can cast wish, he can cast wish. I mean, he can uh, do whatever the fuck he wants. I get it. That's true. Anyway. I mean, because where's the fun in that? <laughs> I mean, I guess. He needs a hobby, There's, man. It only has one component. Verbal. Yeah. He's free. <laughs> can do wishes. That's true. But... Hey, so maybe in that. maybe not every freak can. I mean, not every not every human can cast gate. Maybe he's a squibby freak and mm. can't cast. I mean, <laughs> this is why this is why this he's torture because of it. Uh, he's bullied by all the other kids, all the other freak kids. You like, can't cast <laughs> wish. <laughs> ah. That's funny. All right, moving along. We saw a wish took, for him took a little bit of time. So you head out, make your way through the city of brass. You have no idea where Zakishi's estate is. No idea. I'm gonna s stop the uh, human. I I is there a human that I can see that's not in shackles? Uh, there, like during your time here, and you've seen a lot of a lot of different entities. You've only seen maybe five to ten humans. It's very, very, very small. All right, I'll find a tiefling. Okay, uh, the nearest tiefling is running a. Uh, Selling food. Yeah, it's like a food food cart kind of thing. <laughs> Walk up to him. Hello there. Hello. Uh, what would you be selling here? And is it is it suitable for consumption by people who are not made out of fire? 
<laughs> I'm not made of fire. And I, I can see. It, I can so, see that you're not made of fire. Uh, yes, it can be consumed beyond those who are immune to fire. All right, what you got? Well, uh, great question. We have uh, fire beetle meat. We have. Uh, a little bit of rust monster still. It's, nice. it's it's a little greasy, so it's not for everybody. They're like they're it's like acquired taste. They're like the pigeons <laughs> of this of this realm. They're gross. They're real gross. Uh, <clears throat> if people eat pigeons, squab's a delicacy in some places. It is. We have. A little salamander. Yes. Well, salamander sounds good. It's very spicy. I like spicy. Okay. <laughs> so you're already sweating, and you're eating spicy be, food. And you're just uh, one gold. Give them. I pull out a money bag. Now here's the thing. We're we're on our way to Zakishi's place. Mini Zakishi's. Oh, his eyes kind of. You see. Uh, well, actually, give me give me perception checks or uh, insight, whichever one you prefer. I'm just gonna. You're, just gonna... <laughs> You're just along for the ride right now. Uh, Twenty four. Either way you go. Twenty nine. Oh damn. Twenty four insight. Okay. I'm a plus seven. Seventeen. Seventeen. And, and that's without twenty. Twenty. It's without proficiency. I got a plus uh, zero. Everybody that rolled twenty or above. <laughs> Uh, you notice that there's a very slight flicker of fear. Um, now, why would you want to go see Zakishi? He's he's summoned us actually. Uh, he's acquired an artifact from our plane, and he uh, wanted an expert's opinion. Where, uh, if you see the name on our armor, Sven. Sven's coffee shop? Ah, uh, yeah. We're, we're representatives. We're gonna get so fucking screwed for me saying that. Oh, man. <laughs> Give me a uh, deception roll. This dude's gonna find out. And he's gonna be like, so I summoned you, huh? <laughs> no, Sven's gonna find out and say, You're representing me now, huh? <laughs> you say, For royalties, you are. <laughs> Pay up. <laughs> I love this die so much. 21, natural 20. Good lord. I know, I, this is my favorite. It doesn't roll this well when I'm DMing, though. I know. I have to switch to a different die for that. I'm gonna try it, don't you? <laughs> yeah. I think it'd be good. Fair enough. I, 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 was, I was hoping <laughs> that you could give us direction. It's the first <laughs> time I'm on a plane of fire, and we're trying to make yeah. Sven look good. Well, and no, no. We're trying to look good for Sven so we can get promoted and not have to come back here. He kind of... He points over... Because uh, you're kind of in like a merchant space. And there is... An empty... Like, where there are kind of like building, 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 building. There's a, there's a space. Oh. Empty space. <laughs> and there's a little sign that says reserved. That's... Sven comes here sometimes. Jeez. Holy shit! <laughs> Guys, Sven comes to the, to the city brass. Yep. Act like you're surprised. Yeah, my name is everywhere. Well, no, I'm just, I'm surprised out yeah. of character. Yeah. yeah. In character, Ulfgar's like, makes sense. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but we're, we're trying to make sure that we're, we get into Sven's good graces so we don't have to come back here. Do you see how much we're sweating? I do. Very sweaty. Aren't you some kind of king? You can tell? Well, the crown's kind of a dead giveaway. <laughs> it, it's a per it's a favor for a friend. Plus, I, I owe him money. Being the king? <laughs> uh, okay. Well. It was either this or deplete the treasury, so. Mm -hmm. This. And you can't just print gold. And he. Yes, I can. He directs <laughs> you. You mine gold. To a <laughs> section of the city that is. Um. 
Like north, south, east, west from here. We'll say that it is north of your present Fuck, location. Fuck, are there even magnetic poles on this damn plane? Not wildly so. Uh, I was hoping to use that button on the rod. Because <laughs> it can direct me to magnetic north. Actually, there is a magnetic force here. Uh, but you're not sure if it's north. You can pursue that okay. at some point later. Uh, but he directs you to the... There's there's a section that is uh, home to predominantly fire giants. It's like a fire giant section of the city. It's really big. Yeah, where everything is, is bigger. Uh, houses, restaurants, everything has just increased in size. How tall is your average fire giant? About 25 feet. Okay. They're big. <laughs> They're real big. Yeah. <laughs> More than five times taller than Oldfire. <laughs> <laughs> Let's stop tormenting the cat. I feel bad about this now. <laughs> I, don't, I haven't been playing. That's not true. I was playing. I've been messing with him for a while. <laughs> That's not true. I was doing it. <laughs> no. no rudeness. <laughs> People have been poking him. What do you do now? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy my soup. I'm gonna hand him a sack with a uh, hundred gold in it. Thank oh. you. Thank you. For your discretion. Of course. Okay. Oh, he has a time. He's gonna tell right. fucking everybody as soon as so he walk away. You're going. So <laughs> you you take a bite of your salamander. Mm -hmm. Stew kind of thing. Give me a Constitution saving throw. Uh oh. Oh. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, that's a twenty-one. Twenty-one. Roll seventeen. And you're okay. Dead. It is. Chipotle. <laughs> very, like very. Ghost pepper. Hot. Like ghost pepper level kind of hot. And. This is very good. Crazy, that cat looks you good. don't. Uh, like, as far as compounding it with the, the actual heat there, uh, you don't gain any kind of exhaustion or issues from it. Uh, it'll probably be unpleasant later. <laughs> it's a... When you get around to that. When you go from being a dragon to a rocket. Okay. <laughs> Question. It's almost 11. Would you like to end it here? Yeah. It's a good place to end. Yeah. You know where Takeshi's pad is, or at least you know the general area. Whereabouts. Uh, yeah, also, the uh, video. Thank you. Uh, Later. Later. Bye, everybody. <laughs>